Mr. President and uh, I think cooler heads uh, will prevail in this uh, August chamber. We would like to um, uh, acknowledge and welcome some guests from the gallery, guests of our dear colleague, Senator Amy Marcos, Congressman Faustino D. the fifth of Isabela, 6th District, our good friend, and uh, Mayor Alisa Shina P. Tan of Santiago City. Uh, also guests of Senator Nancy Binay is the governor of Secure Province, Governor Jake Villa. We welcome and yes. uh, uh, acknowledge their presence. At this juncture, with the permission of the body, I move to resume consideration on Senate Bill Number 1306, as reported out under Committee Report Number 4. This is the postponement of uh, Barangay and SK elections, Mr. President. Yes, uh, there being no objection to the motion. Uh, it is approved. Maybe recognize the sponsor, your chair. Um, yes, Mr. Mr. President. Uh, the status, Mr. President, of this measure is that we are in the period of interpolations. I move that we open the period of interpolations. There be no objection. The period of interpolation is now open. And we recognize the sponsor, Senator Aimee uh, Marcos of the great province of Ilocos Norte. Chairman of the committee. Ma yes, Mr. President. And the uh, first to interpolate the measure is our distinguished minority floor leader, Senator Coco Pimentel. I move that he be recognized, Mr. President. Our distinguished minority floor leader, Senator Coco Pimentel. Uh, which one will it be? Senator Coco? Sen if, if the the uh, good gentle lady from uh, Ilocos Norte, my kabsat uh, <laughs> from Batak, Ilocos Norte, uh, yield the floor to uh clarificatory questions uh mr president thank you very much of course uh, it would be an honor and a privilege mr president i think uh we need uh, to have a scratch paper here as we interpolate because nakakalito na po itong uh, petsa na itong uh, ano ba yung karapat dapat na petsa nitong uh, eleksyon na ito so if i could begin uh, uh madam sponsor with that uh, yung Ito pong panukalang batas natin ay ipagpaliban ang naka-schedule na eleksyon ngayon sana ng December 2022 That's ng, right. ng ating SK at Barangay to a later date. Huwag na muna natin pag-usapan yung later date. So ang pag-usapan natin ay yung pagpapaliban. Pero ito pong mga nakaupo ngayon na SK at Barangay ay kailan po ba ito sila nahalal? Nahalal. So kailan yung eleksyon po nila? The uh, last election that we conducted, as I recall, was uh, 2018. Tama ba? May 2018. May 2018. May 2018. That, uh, and, the, and then, tama po ba na, since the, yun, yun yung date ng election, but hindi, hindi yun yung umpisa ng termino. And uh, the term for those elected in May 2018 would... Uh, started uh, at what date, uh, Mr. President? Hmm? So I think... Uh, June 13th. I think their term started in 2018 as well, immediately after the election. Uh, today, because we need uh, we are also looking. Uh, can, can if the if the sponsor is aware of what law uh, govern their election? Because we will take a look at the the starting date of their terms. Let me see. It's uh, RA ten nine five two, as I recall, for uh, synchronizing the elections of the barangay and the SK. So. And I think there was there was an expectation on the part of those who ran in the May 2018 election that they will only that, that they will serve for a term. And how long is that term uh, when they, when they run, uh, Mr. President? 2018, 2019 until 2020. So, Ang gandun lang. Uh, That's right. So um, we established the three-year term, and they expected to serve for three years, but it was then extended by the last Congress. Ah, uh, 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 I need some clarification on that, Mr. President. So for those who ran in the May 2018 election, the law governing their run was for a two-year term. To run 2018, uh, to 19, 19 to 20, 
And uh, yes, it was yeah. a very short uh, yeah. term. It yes, should have yes. been only two because of the successive postponements, indeed. Correct, because their uh, predecessors were uh, be, uh, beneficiaries. Nagamitin ko na lang yung term na beneficiaries of yes. an extension. Of a postponement as oh, well. Of a postponement uh -huh. and an extension of their Dama. predecessors' uh, terms. Correct. So, so na-erode yung kanilang three-year term, naging dalawa na lang. Apo. So, nung tumakbo po sila, actually, hindi pa nila alam yun na may extend na magiging tatlo. Ang alam nila, dalaw, two years lang po. That's correct. Correct. Apo. So, uh, ang, ating pong, ang ating pong panukala ay imove pa natin ulit ang term nitong mga nahalal nung May 2018 sa December 2023. At election po yon, yun po yung petsa na eleksyon. Pero yung mahalal sa December 2023, ang umpisa ng kanilang term ay kailan po? January. January 1. Oo, sa susunod na na taon ng 2024. Ah, so malapit lang din. Okay. Dikit so, lang a matter of ano lang. So Okay, so So kung sakali pong kung sakali pong uh, ipospone nga natin yung halalan, ano na po ang suma total ng tenure ng mga nahalal noong May 2018 SKN Barangay Elections? So, uh, ang magiging suma total ay eh, parang five and a half years. Nasa five and a half years kapag umapak ng December, which is, sa totoo lang, uh, more or less yan ang average, eh, nasa four and a half to five and a half years, ang actual term served on the average since 1982. Kasi wala na po tayong ginawa, kundi magpospone na magpospone. Kaya dun sa sponsorship ko, sinabi ko, let's take this as a breathing space during which we can review the term length because it doesn't seem to be working. But there is all. Uh, but Mr. President, so tama, tama rin po pala. I, I want to confirm that my computation also says five and a half, oh, oh, five five and half, and half uh, years na po sila kung sakaling may extend sila all the way to uh, December 2023 or end of December 2023. Uh, however, uh, Mr. President, I think there is already a law clarifying, uh, very clear, uh, providing for a three-year term for SK and Barangay officials. Am I correct, Mr. President? Yes, uh, we have established a three-year term for both the Barangay as well as the SK. Correct. That's right. So, therefore, policy has been debated and the rule has been fixed. So, uh, how do we now use, how do we justify extending their term as if, as if, as if we are still As, as if we are still not yet sure of the policy and as, as if there is still no law governing the, the SK and Gab Barangay elections, Mr. President? As uh, we learned well, the uh, law is an organic uh, thing and uh, has to grow with the times. We've seen very clearly that from 1982, 1989, all the way to the present, we have done nothing but postpone Barangay and SK elections. Perhaps it is time to look uh, more deeply into the reforms required in the system and expand the Barangay term to six years, given that uh, Barangay work particularly during the COVID uh, period, is so overwhelming and difficult. I think the other reason would also be that uh, the election fatigue that's spoken of is also pandemic fatigue. So many of the reforms, for example, in the SK Reform Act, were not implemented because of the pandemic. And uh, now we are embarking on the Mandanas Garcia rulings implementation at ground level. And the uh, barangays um, cannot afford to change midstream.